All right, I'm working on the water cooled rigs here. I wasn't going to make a video, but I figure, what the hell, you guys are already here, right? So, what I was going to do today is uh, do this back panel here. That's pretty much just a flat piece, but I'm going to have to shape uh, the corners to make it perfect. So, I'm going to, I'm going to take this uh, jig, this rig, this jig off and uh, see what we got under there. All right, I'm going to throw you guys up on a tripod. All right, you guys should be able to see a lot better because we're all LED'd up here. New LED there, over there, over there. So this, this whole corner is a little brighter. So uh, let me throw you up here and uh, you should be good to go. How's that? All right, looks pretty good. All right, I'll try and stay out of your way here. We're all going to see this together. Oh, we ain't going to see it all together. It's going to stand in your way. Holy Christ. Huh. How'd you use such long bolts for? There. Might have trouble getting this off because I got a little epoxy here, but uh, there's wax paper there, so we'll see how well it works. chisel some of that away or actually just untape it all right let me see what I can do with that okay actually don't feel too bad all I gotta do is look at it it's coming up already wax paper Fill in here and here. Very good. All right. I think what we're going to do first is uh, get some of this stuff out of our way, like this little rod. This is uh, quarter twenty-eight. It's not a quarter. Quarter twenty. There we go. I knew it wasn't rounded. Stripped. Actually, doing was just uh, backing off the nuts, so I need that stud. wasn't even spinning. Can fix that though. We have to care of that. Still in frame here. All right. Like I was saying, this stud is 10, 10 28 on one side and quarter twenty on the other. No, not ten. I'm sorry, not ten twenty eight. Quarter quarter twenty eight on one side and quarter twenty on the other. I don't want to mess you guys up there. Alright, still in view here. Take this plug in out here. Oh, that wasn't tough. And I didn't think I would have it, but I just happened to have it. Call it either 
I think they call them counter, counter sunk, quarter inch counter sunk plug. And I just happen to have one. It's funny, it says not not for potable water applications in California, Maryland, and Vermont for local legislation. But it's okay the rest of the country to use it. Clean that one. Okay, yeah, this is just to keep some of the crap out of there. Hopefully that'll we'll go in far enough that it won't get in my way. Feels like it is. Feels like it's gone. I got the wrong uh, element here, so let me get the right one. Okay, that was a 5 6 inch allen. That's, that's bigger than I thought it was. I'm hoping this will uh, be flush. Here we go. We'll just make it. Alright, cool. We're ready. Uh, I guess we'll uh, plug some of these holes up here. There we go. Let's clean up later. We got this tiny little one here. Okay. That's some little baby Allen screws. There we go. Just makes things easy on you later on. A quarter to oh, no, I don't know what size they are. I don't want to keep saying that. Okay. Alright. I was just looking at this. I'll turn it to the side here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I could actually make a mark. Because I, I want it all flush with this. And this here. So I can actually make a mark up here. And go by that. Down here, I'm going to have to take almost almost all of it off. So I'm going to hit that. I'm going to have to hit that with the grinder, bring it down. Bring that down quite a bit. There we go. And I'm not going to have to take much off of there, but uh, let me knock it down. Let me knock it down with a grinder. All right, that worked out well. I hit that dead on, I'm surprised because uh where you at? Let me turn it this way. Maybe you can see it better. But uh you know, perfect there. I'm a little low right here, but that's uh not because I cut too much off, it's because I didn't have enough epoxy. And then up here, it's pretty much dead nuts on, so uh that'll work out perfect. I think what I'm gonna do now is where the head goes here, this is sort of indented down you know, around these bolts and stuff. So I think I'm going to lower that and lower this over here too. So it gives it a little profile, you know. It's going to it's going to have like little uh, little curves in there. It'd be good. I'm going I'll, I'll going to put a, a line around there so I don't I don't feel, go below that, but it's going to look good. And I think I'll do that before I start epoxying this because I might want to do the top and stuff. Right, let me cut that down so it looks like. Okay. We trimmed this top out, and uh, I'm real happy with that. What it's going to do, it's going to give you a scalloped look to it, which is what uh, Briggs had originally. Let me stick this. It's going to be a spacer. See that? You're actually going to have a, a little gap in there. So I tried to make it as uniform as I could. And uh, like I said, that's just the way Briggs had that kind of thing back then. <laughs> I got my thing on wrong. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Rogue King, you kill me. Alright. So like I say, it's going to be there. I'm going to round the, you're going to round the edge off a little bit, but like I say, it's going to have a little scallop action going. Uh, and that'll probably be a little more pronounced because there's actually going to be a gasket on there too. Yeah. So I'm liking it. It's looking good. I think what I'm going to do now is uh, actually maybe sand the sand this smooth to where I want it that way if there are any low spots I can fill them in and I know already that I'm going to have a, a low spot right here so I think that's what I'm going to do now ready alright I'm cutting this down with some 36 grit and it's coming out nice and you can actually see remember I said there was a low spot here you'll be able to this will actually make it more prominent so you can see that 
but uh, this is coming out real nice. I wasn't going to use, since it was uh, so perfect and so flat, I wasn't going to use 36 grit. I was using uh, 80 grit, but it was uh, clogging up my paper. So, I'll just smooth that out after I cut it down to 36. I can't believe how perfect I got this just with the, the putty itself. There's a slight indent right there, but I think uh, when I bring it down to here, I know the front, the front's got to come down to metal. So when I come down to that, I'll know the right, and I think, I think that'll take that, uh, that little low spot out. All right, let me do a little sanding. Uh, it's probably pretty much like watching paint dry, so I don't want to bore you guys bore you guys up too much. All right, yeah, this thing shaped up real nice, much better than I expected on the first run. I do have a very slight, sh uh, shallow section right there. It doesn't even show up on the scale. You know, you put a scale on there, it doesn't even show up. But We'll fill that in when we fill this in over here. We knew that was going to be uh, a low spot. Luckily the bottom, it's funny, the bottom here is where I want it. So that'll be easy to fill in. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I got to clean all this up. See all the black and stuff? I got to make that all shiny and everything so the epoxy will stick to it. And then uh, I think maybe I'll tape this up so uh, I don't have so much cleaning to do. Okay. Yeah, the profile came up perfect. You see where I was going with that? I know a lot of you guys didn't know, but I'm loving it. All right, all right. Let me let me uh, grind this up on the back here. Pretty good. Alrighty. Uh, I don't know how long this is. Maybe we'll mix up some epoxy. Maybe we won't. Alright. See you later.